Play action, lots of time, long over the middle, complete the round, touchdown Cardinals! And off the inside and quickly snuffed out. And off goes to Salazar, running right, cuts up field, nice job cutting back, first down and a lot more! Lot of open space, Salazar, one man to beat, into the end zone, touchdown! Sports Complex as Coon Rapids celebrates its homecoming by welcoming the 3-0 Iredale Knights. Joey on Howie Shapiro up above for tonight's action and Howie biggest test of the season so far for the Cardinals. Yeah, and I think the Cardinals are up to the challenge, no question about it. This is a really good team in Irondale. We're talking about uh, a, a quarterback, a receiver, and a, and a running back who are all heavily involved in this very explosive offense. I think they've scored 104 points in, in three games, so this is, an, this is an important matchup for Coon Rapids. Likewise for Irondale. Well, yeah. the Cardinals' offense really exploded a lot of different weapons, a lot of big plays going in favor of the home team in their home over opener, but uh, you talked about it, the three-headed monster, and uh, they're going to have to contain all three pieces, but it especially the wide up. Parker Freiberg is averaging almost 28 yards a, a catch. He has six touchdowns on the year. He is explosive, and we talked to Coach Weber, and, the, and Coach said, this is one young man that we have to be able to make sure we know where he is on the field at all times. He's good, he's athletic, and he'll get open. Yeah, the defense has played well, but this, again, may be their biggest challenge yet this season. Uh, at the same time, their, their offense uh, will be pressed playing their best defense they've seen all year. The Knights have only allowed 32 points this season. Uh, no question about that. And and, and again, this is a, a, an opportunity for Coon Rapids to really see where their program is this time of year. As we're we're going to actually talk about that Cardinal defense a little bit. Caleb Ness leads the, uh, the team with 30 tackles, had nine tackles and a sack. If the Cardinals are going to win, that defense is going to have to play tough. They're going to have to keep those three athletes in check, at least limit two of the three, and that's what they aim to do. Well, the Cardinals the last couple of weeks, big key has been possession and, and keeping the ball. They were able to pound out over 350 yards rushing last week, the week before uh, outdoing the opponent almost 2-1 to one in time of possession. That's what they need to do again. Keep their offense on the field. Keep the, the Pirates' big weapons on the sideline. No question about it. When you ask Coach Edwards, what do you want to accomplish? Is we want to run the rock. We want to run the ball. And that big offensive line is going to open holes for them. Well, the Cardinals are hoping for a happy homecoming. Kickoff between the Pirates and the Cardinals is coming up next on CTF. The game ball returning to the Cardinal Stadium in the hands of Coon Rapids cross country captain Paul Breitbach. His teammates in tow, both girls and boys teams, been doing this for 14 seasons. They ran a relay from Irondale High School to the field here tonight to make sure that they bring home the rock 
and deliver it to their football squad. Well, you know, I, I feel, I too, I feel that uh, with this heat that I ran a marathon, there's head coach Mal Edwards, and I know we had, didn't uh, talk to him as much as I'd like to before the game, but certainly he's uh, he knows that his guys are ready and they've, uh, they're in for a, a very stern chest, uh, test here tonight. There's uh, head coach Ben Fuller. You know, we talked uh, when I when I had a chance to talk to him. He says this is going to be our stiffest test of the year. And I said, how did they look to you? And he said to me, they look like a six eight team. So uh, we'll see if uh, Coon Rapids can live up to those high high praises from Coach Fuller. Short kick taken by Nawachi at the 23-yard line. Avoids one contact at the 30. Cuts back, runs into one of his blockers. And will be gobbled up at the 35. Return of about 12 yards. Good field position for the Cardinals on offense. Here's a look at him up front. Green, Neesland, Soto, Taylor, and Alexander. Receiver Dominic Jones, Jordan Brown, and Carter Geyer. Running back Jalen Salazar, Tyler George under center, and Caleb Ness is the tight end. The Cardinals will start right at their own 35-yard line. Well, the Cardinals, you know, depth really is, is an issue for both of these teams, and this is a very hot and humid evening, and they're going to try and do their best they can to substitute especially uh, skill position players in and out of the lineup. And the big guys up front, they're going to be tested as well. Coaches said that uh, we've been we've been hydrated all week, making sure that we're prepared for this game. Cardinals are a tough bunch. Out of the shotgun, handoff goes to Salazar, chased way to his right, able to get back to the line of scrimmage, dive forward for a short gain, maybe a couple of yards. Doesn't take much to get Brandon excited for the game. Here's the team the Cardinals are facing. Chamberlain, Trass, Armstrong, and Yang. The defensive line, Apperson, Best, and Ososki are the linebackers in the secondary. Ellingson, Frischman, Natir, and Sears. So a gain of three, a pretty good job of Jalen Salazar continuing to take that run, stretch the play all the way to the sidelines, able to pick up some positive yardage. Well, yeah, and the positive thing I like about Jalen is, is that he's able to he's able to turn it upfield and continue to move his feet, even after contact, to pick up additional yards. And Joe, that's what they're going to need to do tonight. They say second and eight, but it's closer to second and seven. Ball just shy of the 38-yard line. George will stay out of the shotgun. Brown in the slot on the right. Handoff goes to Salazar, looking for room on that right side, and he's taken down right at the first down marker, and they're going to give him a good spot first down, Coon Rapids. Oh, take, again, take another look at it. Look at the hole up front. Look at the big, the good job that the, that the offensive line. This is last line. week. Oh, that's his last week. You missed the cue. I didn't Last hear the week, cue. Big week for Jalen Salazar, 180 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Couple of those big 50 plus yard plays turned in by the offense, courtesy of his determination. The broken tackle and then 30 yards after contact was something that uh, I will not soon forget. George rolls, throws, pass complete, and a first down into Irondale territory. Dominic Jones on the receiving end. Well, that's what the Cardinals want to do. They want to mix up run and pass. And, and again, a good job by George to drift to his left and find Dominic Jones open. You know, they look at tape and they look at the 350 yards on the ground that, as you saw in those highlights from last week against Park Center. And they're expecting the run, but the Cardinals are, are definitely going to see what they can and do about mixing Salazar it up. Salazar cuts back to his left. Nice hole. Jukes. Flag in the backfield. Salazar still going, but it's going to be all for not gain of about nine or ten. That's a, that looks like a hold to me, but it's going to come back. Penalties always a thorn in every team's side. 
holding on the offense, number 77, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Repeat first down. We thank Tom Gothman. You could see it. No, you couldn't see it there. We got it set up for Starburst. Right here. here you go. Out of the shotgun, handoff goes to Salazar on first and long. Cuts back and he's gonna dive forward a gain of three, maybe four out just shy of midfield. So it puts him in a second long situation, not where Coach Edwards wants to be if he's uh, facing a defense that looks like this. They need the 33, so second and 18. George with time, throws pass complete. Carter Geyer on the sidelines, forced out at the 36-yard line. It'll set up a third and manageable. Yeah, I mean, that's a nice play. You pick up a big chunk of yardage, and you're in third and short now versus being in third and a little bit longer situations. Again, good job protection up front. Nice job rolling to his left, and Carter Geyer is right there for the catch. Gain will set up a third and three. A very long three. George rolling out, tucks it right away. Nice block by Miles Taylor to get him the corner. He dives forward and has the first down. Yeah, and again. that's something that they had 350 yards rushing last week and very little from their quarterback, and he's a dangerous runner. No question. We Great talked block about that. By Miles yeah, Taylor, Taylor right the there edge. on the edge. And he lowers his shoulder and just makes sure he ends up on the other side of the chains. First and goal from the 31. Well, I was saying. Penalties like that can be drive killers. The Cardinals were hoping it wouldn't be. So far, they've been able to overcome. Handoff, Salazar hit in the backfield and dragged down for a loss. Blowing up in the middle is Deshaun Armstrong. Yeah, yeah, Armstrong. They got some big boys on they, that squad. They, they definitely do. We'll see if this is a face mask coming into your picture on the tackle. No, he's gonna, yeah, you know what? He did have a hold of the mask. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, he, he turned, turned his, he turned the helmet. Turned his helmet all the way around. Official did not see it. It's only illegal if they throw the flag. That is correct. But the boys in the truck side. Second and 12 for the Cardinals. George out of the shotgun. Man in motion is Nawachi. Fake the give to him. Sets, throws, long over the middle, too far. Looking for Jordan Brown. Coming across from the right side. And George, George got popped as he released that ball. And, and I like it because Jordan had a step. He had a, he had a little bit of a lane. He just couldn't find him. You can see he got, he got hit afterwards. But he had open space. That puts it in a third and long situation. Again, the kind of situation you don't want to be in. Well, and early in a contest, I, I would assume... This is four down territory. I would think early so. Early in a ball game. So do you go for five, six yards, or do you go for the whole well, thing here and go for the first down? I think you put somebody underneath in case you need to go for five, six yards, but I think you try and get it. They run that inside counter. Big hole for Jordan Brown. That was very successful last week for them. And uh, this was going to pick up about eight, maybe even nine. It'll be fourth and short. Well, in this situation that, uh, you know, obviously the Cardinals are going to go for in fourth and, and relatively short, but a, a nice play here by Brown, able to pick up that positive yard as you get that fourth and short. Fourth and three. There's Jordan Brown's numbers from last week. Six carries, 121 yards and two scores. He had a catch for and a 27-yard uh, yeah. touchdown uh, yep. also. As well. Didn't do a lot of throwing last week. They didn't have to. Handoff goes to Brown. He's tripped up, stopped in the backfield. 
And a great anticipation by the Knights. Josh Amperson, first one to get to him. Yeah, trying to string it out, and the defense did a really nice job of reacting to, to the ball. You're going to see it here, just again, trying to gain that edge, but good job. Just sent a lot of bodies. Well, Amperson no. gets the feet, and then Natir is there to finish the job. Loss of a couple at first and 10 from their own 30, so a loss of about six yards on the play. Gives Irondale pretty good field position to start with. White. And uh, there might have been movement there. The ball's still right in the space, but uh, Frandarius uh, a little excited to get the game going. Well, you know, he did Dead ball. Encroachment on the defense. Five-yard penalty. Repeat the down. You know, and the guys are their guys are excited. It's homecoming, and they and they want to uh, they want to get off the ball. For Darius did not play last week, so he's excited to get in there and do some damage here up front. White out of the shotgun again. Handoff goes to Freiburg. Freiburg stopped right at the line of scrimmage and held there. Breams finishing off the tackle by Caleb Ness. I think that I think that's a hold on Irondale. Looked to me like uh, there was a there was a hold on one of the linemen. Holding offense number 73, 10-yard penalty from the spot. Repeat first down. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Man in motion is Price. He gets the carry on the jet sweep, trying to get around that left edge. A lot of red jerseys over there, and uh, unfortunately, uh, a bad penalty. This is going to be a late hit out of bounds. Uh, you can't have that. And they held him to, oh, they pushed. to nothing if that <laughs> negative yardage. Uh, you know, you're talking about a high power running attack, and they did a great job of stringing it out. But then you get that hit out of bounds, and you can't. You cannot let that happen. Two penalties that are just... Uh, penalties you can't have on your Dead opening ball. drive. Personal foul on the defense number nine. That's a 15 yard penalty from the end of the run will result in a first down. He wants to know what coach uh, Edwards wants to know what the actual foul was. Let's see if we can see it on, on our angle here. Oh. He's, Are you kidding? He's, Are you it started. He caught, he had contact inbounds. It's a terrible yeah, he call. Was, he was, I don't like that call. I understand if it's clearly out of bounds, but he, he had contact before he crossed the line. So first and 10 from the 41. Cardinals nearly jumped again. White taking his time, looking to the sidelines. Has three receivers to his right side. Freeberg in the backfield with him. Freeberg will get the carry up the middle hit. Bounces away. Avoids another tackle. And makes his way out to about the 48-yard line. A gain of about seven. Take a look at this offense for the Knights. We talked about it. They like to score. Simon, Martin, Gabler, Jones, and Cobb. The linemen, the receiver, Aiden Price. We talked about Headley and Glodick, the other receivers out there. Brandon White, the quarterback. Freeberg, the running back. And they have second and three. Well, and, uh, you know, this team can offer so much offensively. You look at, uh, you look at their quarterback. And White. goes to Freeberg, right side. He's oh, got a first a down, but a flag. A and this one's going to go back. So both teams. So 10-yard spot foul will back them up, and they will face second and 11. Holding offense, number 84. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat, second down. Jack Crooks, the tight end. You can see it, 84 coming party. into your picture. Right there. Well, missed that last part, but right there, where was the hold? They were holding up McMahon. 
Second and 11, Cardinals show blitz. White checks off. He's got three receivers to his left and one to the right. Freeberg in the backfield with him. Straight drop, pressure isn't there. Good throw, wants Price down the sideline. Well covered by Kenny Dewanchi on the play. And he had McMahon, the safety, over the top as well. Yeah, good defense by the Cardinals there, just keeping him pressed against the sideline. And Cardinals defense, a big part of their success so far this season. Alexander, Frendarius Willis, and Matt Ammon, the lineman. Breams, Ness, Taylor Brown, the linebacking core. Secondary is Kenny Nawachi, Deion McMahon, Carter Geyer, and Thomas Silla. Third and long, White spins off to his left. Pressured and sacked, big loss. It was Ammon getting to his legs and finished by Miles Taylor. A great defensive play by the Cardinals. Again, just hustle. You're going to see it here. Good pressure up front. And again, pushing that line back towards the quarterback. Not much he can do. Good coverage downfield. He didn't have yeah, anybody to throw to. By, by Matt. Fourth and long, and they bring on the punt unit. High, good punt. Nawachi waiting at the 35. We'll take it there. Gets a block from Brown, tries to get to the right side, and just too much pressure. The Cardinal sideline wants the, the late hit foul along the home sideline, and it will not come. <laughs> fans, fans say if it can happen on the other side, it can happen on this side as well. <laughs> Good Rapids gets the ball back, though, at their own 40-yard line. 441 to play here in the first quarter. Little sloppy start for, for both offense and defense in that opening possession. Oh, you got to love couple the way. A couple of flags on, on either side. But still got to love the way that defense came up big on third and long. They did. Yeah. Well, and when they took the shot looking for Price down the sideline, he was well covered. Covered. Yep. Like he had just been. Just woke up from a nap. <laughs> Pull that blanket back. After some discussion and delay, we're back to football. Cardinals starting first and 10 from their own 40-yard line. Handoff not to Salazar. Keeper for George. He's got seven yards off the right side. He, uh, he took a big hit to the to the back, too, at the end of that play, kind of looking back at the Irondale defender. We'll see it again. Again, just the, the fake to Salazar went the other way. And a nice hole open yeah. by the line. The, the offensive line has been outstanding this season. No question. They have really moved some piles, win the point of attack more often than not. Out of the shotgun is George. Nawachi, the man in motion, a lot of different movement. Goes back to the counter for Brown, and he's going to be held just shy of midfield. Be very close to yeah, a first down. I think I think he has it. I think where that uh, that official put yeah, it. Yeah, where they where they spotted it, it yeah. should be a first down, and it is right on midfield stripe. Big Cardinal fan base here for the homecoming contest. First time they've had a winning team on this field in quite some time to cheer for, and they are looking for a reason to get loud right now. No question about it. Can this feed off that stop by the defense continue to uh, take, as you mentioned, to take time off the clock? George keeping it all the way, running right. Salazar just blew up a block. George tripped up. There's the flag. There's An extra 15 <laughs> yards after the run. Yeah, did a nice did a nice job. As you mentioned, that block by Salazar was stellar. Salazar just blew him up. Yep. Got to the corner quickly and just rocked his world. Dead ball. Personal foul on the defense, number seven. 
15 yards from the end of the run results in a first down. I hope you can see the block here. Watch the block right Ooh, there. Oh, missed it. Another look there's at you it. See oh, where yeah, they, he's yeah, way, late cle hit. way clearly out of bounds. Yep. I mean, there's no question about that one. Questionable judgment, perhaps. It'll mean a first and 10 for the Cardinals from the 25 of Irondale. Handoff goes to Miles Taylor with a blocker in front of him. He falls forward for a gain of three. Well, the Cardinals want to mix things up as much as they can offensively, but you're going to see heavy doses, obviously, of 25 and 33. There you see the numbers for Miles on the season. 38 carries for 172 yards. Definitely two very different backs, and then you add Jordan Brown into yep, the mix, no and you have to account for Tyler George as he's already uh, probably carried the ball more times than he did last week. Oh, no question. Yeah, no question. Yeah, we, you talked about that. We didn't see a lot of running from him last week because he didn't need to run. Ooh, had them all. There's an extra five yards. It'll be second and two. Good hard count from Tyler George. Dead ball, encroachment on the defense. Five yard penalty, still second down. Both coaches can't be happy no. with the number of penalties. Handoff on the end around. <laughs> To Carter Geyer flag though, and this one's all yeah, coming back. This is coming back. You As talked we about, penalties. about penalties. Exactly. And the Cardinals are going to give back the five they just got and add another five on the hold. Makes it real tough to get Holding. rhythm. Offense number 79. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat, second down. They're going to see it on the outside. There's the hold. I mean, you you, you got to get the edge, but you can't do that. I'll call it every time. So it'll back him up and make it second and 12 from the 27. Two fourteen remaining here in the opening quarter. No score. Counter goes to Brown and. That may have, that tackle right there by Natir may have saved a touchdown because he was just getting to speed and there was no one else behind there. Oh, we we at saw, least the Cardinals had a man for man behind there. Yeah, no question. We saw him last week that that same type of play, but he was able to outrace the defender. This time, as you mentioned, a great tackle, sure-handed, to bring him down. But he would have picked up a lot of yardage if he had not got a hand on him. Well, he had he had other receivers out blocking yep. in front of him and. Natera makes a nice adjustment to get the stop. It is a gain of seven yards, makes it third and five from the 30. George rolling to his left, looking downfield, avoids some pressure. Now wants to run back to the other side. Avoids one tackle, dives forward, has a first down inside the 15 to the 13-yard line. Well, Tyler George, just a little fancy footwork. Able to weave his way through and pick up that first down. But again, a, ni a nice job. Play breaks down, looking for that pass. Really, well, he he's really step wanted, up into the pocket. He really wanted to throw. Oh, he no, held he it did. out there a lot longer than it made me comfortable, but able to tuck it, turn it into a nice run, get the first down, and the Cardinals are knocking. You know, that was the key, it was the fact that he was able to look over the field and he saw he had the opportunity, if he was to gain the edge, he had that opportunity to pick up some additional yardage. Handoff goes to Taylor as the single setback, and he gets across the 10 yard line, a gain of about four. Again, that, that hole fills quickly. It's a pretty good defense from the Knights, and not a lot of room for Miles to run through. Second and seven from the 10. Possibly the last play of quarter number one as we're down near 30 seconds remaining.
George under center. Geyer, the man in motion. He'll get the carry. Looking for room on the right. Cuts back upfield. And it's going to be stopped short of the goal line, but he'll have first down. And the Cardinals first in goal from inside the three. And, you know, we haven't seen a lot of this, these type of plays from Carter Geyer. But, again, a nice job of keeping his feet moving and moving through the, the pile, picking well, up the first down. And he's got to be excited about the opportunity because as a receiver that's a, that's a good athlete, yep. uh, he just hasn't had much opportunity because they don't throw the ball much. Correct. And this is a way to get another good athlete involved. They've been doing it well, mixing up all of the pieces and throwing them at Irondale. No score yet, but the Cardinals are knocking. They'll have first and goal when we return for the second quarter. TV's Howie Shapiro. When I'm not announcing CTN Sports Broadcast with my sidekick, Joe Yen, I'm watching all the other great programs on the CTN Studios YouTube page. There's news stories, great local events, and even full games. You can even watch on any smart device with a YouTube app. Whether that's your phone or a tablet, you can watch CTN's great programming wherever and whenever you want. You can even watch CTN's event coverage live. So no matter where you are, you can share in all the excitement. CTN Studios, building community through cable. Cardinal Nation in full effect, a sea of red at the complex tonight. And everybody in great spirits. How could you not be? Because it's hot. Yeah, but it's football but it's, and it's homecoming. And now, it and is. And the sun has gone down, so now it's getting more bearable. It's certainly more comfortable out there than it is in here. Oh, no question. There's dead air in here. Yeah, it's and maybe more ways than one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was mean. Cardinals with a first and goal from the two-yard line. Time of possession, 9.31 wow. for Coon Rapids, 2.29 for Irondale on that first that's quarter. That's called controlling yeah. the and that's, what you, that's what we talked about. Power backfield in there, uh, and the Cardinals jumped. It'll be first and goal from the seven. Dead ball. False start on the offense. Five-yard penalty, still first down. Too many penalties for obviously both teams, but the, the Cardinals in this tough situation like that where they're knocking at the door and right on the goal line and commit that penalty changes what you want to do. Well, they have that power package in where you put Salazar, He's not Brown, happy. Salazar, Brown, and Taylor all in the backfield. It's a trio of trouble if you're on the defensive side of wow, the ball. Wow, a trio of trouble. I like that. Handoff goes to Taylor, finds room, touchdown, Coon Rapids. Well, it didn't matter. They committed the penalty, and Miles made something happen. First touchdown of the season for young Mr. Taylor. He's done a lot of work, but I'm pretty sure this is the first trip to the end zone. First trip to the end zone, but look at the hole. That the, we'll see, get a chance to see it. The offensive line opened up for him to run through. I mean, granted, he's tough to bring down. He gets a little contact. You're not going to get him down single-handedly, but look, at he's going to pull a couple of guys into the end zone with him, but he had that initial burst, that initial hole that they opened up at the point of attack, and he's able to take it in for the score. Finley out to attempt the extra point. It is up, straight, long, and good. Well, that pushed a little more pressure. Granted, it's early, but you saw very little time for that offense, that high-powered offense of Irondale, because the Cardinals are doing this by keeping the ball on the ground. Nice job, nice hole that he had a chance to run through for the score of the night, first score of the night. Look at the down block there. Great block by Salazar. by Salazar. He's, he's really impressed me. I yep. mean, you know, he's been explosive the last couple weeks running the ball, but a couple of really nice blocks here in the first and now very early second quarter when you look at the time his teammates out the time off the clock 446 10 plays to go those 60 yards My, miles taylor yards, almost 10 yards of possession yep. 10 almost 10 minutes of possession in the first quarter uh, that yeah. is just that's impressive beyond impressive this kick is going to be taken from the 12 
Return to the middle. And while wow, lost a helmet. <laughs> that was Nicholas Ellingson on the return, lost his helmet. I didn't see who grabbed his jersey, but that uh, was uh, Dion McMahon. Dion McMahon. But uh, yeah, he, it was like an iron grip. His shirt stopped, yeah. and then all of a sudden he stopped, and his body stopped so fast his helmet popped off. Decent field position for Irondale, first and 10 from their 26. Again, they want to be able to avoid the penalties and, and get their offense clicking. Cardinals uh, handled them pretty well first time on the field. But again, penalties on both sides of the ball last time Irondale's offense was in possession. So now, you know, now March is the night's and it back. Starts, and it starts with another Dead one. ball, false start on the offense. Five yard penalty, still first down. So puts them at first and 15 now. There's the sign. Look it's at a that. hand me down. It's a, it is a hand me down. Hand me down, and it's uh, authentic, and it's, it's. I don't know that it's quite antique yet. Here, I'll do it again. Do I get to circle you, Ellie? Yeah. Is, your name, is your name Howie? No, okay. sorry. I won't touch your. <laughs> I won't touch your fun stuff again. Uh. First and 15 from the 21. Handoff, trying to get around the right edge, cut back, and no place to go. Great. That was uh, Austin Tracking Alexander. James Headley on the carry, but uh, just a great job working down the line by the Cardinal, entire Cardinal defense. Well, yeah, I mean, look how they do a nice job, and, and Alexander just kind of fought off that that uh, that block, and Caleb Ness also, number two, in on the tackle, the leading, the leading tackler for this very good defense for Coon Rapids. Loss of a yard, second and 16. White out of the shotgun. Wants to throw, pass is complete to Freeberg, or Freiburg, and he's dragged out of bounds after a very short game. It'll be third and long. Nate Brims is getting the start at outside linebacker tonight that brought him down. Now yeah, third he's had and long. a couple of tackles been in there. Third and 13 from their own 23. The Knights trying to respond after giving up the first score of the contest. Would love to avoid the three and out. Time for White throws over the middle pass. Incomplete flag. flag. That's deep. Uh, that, uh, I'm afraid that's on the that, defense. Yeah, and I disagree. That pass was 15 yards yeah, over. I, I understand. Pass was intended for Headley. Yeah, it's unless there was holding on the outside when the, when the receiver's coming down the, the in his pattern. But I didn't, uh, it certainly wasn't interference on the pass, even though it was overthrown, I thought. Sideline warning. Coon Rapids. No penalty. Oh, oh. Well, that'll no work. Out. Well, they'll Incomplete take Incomplete pass and a fourth and long and a three and out. I mean, I, I couldn't see see any any kind of infraction there i just didn't you know was away from the picture but again it's just it was just a warning on the sideline so the cardinals did not get penalized the first time they punted they had crooks punted this time it's going to be gamishu gamishu hama who is back there it's and hama hama time. don't hurt him that's a good punt angled to the sideline and out of play and we'll see where they mark it out right around midfield somewhere and yeah, it's, it's uh, oh, they, not the kind of punt I think they wanted. Oh, they, oh, they mark it all out of bounds at the 35. Take that. This is back not back. a good punt. I thought it had better angle and was was holding the line better. I I thought it went, didn't go out of bounds until almost midfield. Instead, the Cardinals right back uh, deep in the Knights' end. Again, the Fresh defense with that seven nothing lead and a lot of time on the clock. Coach Weber is getting his defense fired up, but again, the defense doing a great job of not letting this offense get into any kind of a rhythm. Now great for field position for the Cardinal offense. Handoff goes to Salazar, wants to go off tackle right side, finds a hole, keeps going, drives to the 30, a gain of six. Yeah, he, he's a tough young, he's a tough runner, no question about it. He does, uh, does whatever he can to keep his mo legs moving, not to go down. You're going to see it again here. He's just going to fight through when a couple a of tackles. He's a runner yep. waiting for his hole to open. He knows his offensive line is going to get his him legs the, moving. We'll get him the crack he needs. 
and then he will get whatever yardage is available and it won't be over until his legs stop churning. Fake the give and keeper for the quarterback. Brown ended up losing his helmet. A short game for Tyler George off the left side a yard. Set up third down. Yang on the tackle for Irondale. So will say, what, third and about two. Long two, Long short two, three. Yep. Yeah, nowhere to go here. Gain tackle, but well, that's a, that's led a by big, uh, it's Moses a big Yang, as we talked about. It's a big kid in yep. Tyler George, 6'3", 220. Timeout, Coon Rapids. Coon Rapids. Yeah. Timeout. Coach Edwards uh, knew it That's immediately as he saw his guys go to the line. That is not what he wanted. Didn't draw it up that way. So it's better off to, uh, especially in a situation like this, you're third and short. You want to keep this drive going. If you can get another score, put this Irondale team deeper in a hole. That's what you want here. Come well, on, not a terribly early uh, timeout. Nope. Each of the first two weeks we saw. Earlier. In first, first quarter. quarter. I, yep. I want to say there were two in the first quarter of game one. If you want to, if you're not and around, the third one taken about this time in the second. If you're not here I'm for not the game, mistaken. you Joe, you can watch us on YouTube. On YouTube, see, so you get to play with um, my telestrator. Thank you. Look at that. Every once in a while, they're all having fun. Everybody's having a good time at the. This here. guy's having fun. This girl's having fun. She's having fun. She's having fun. They're all having fun. These guys. Not having so Not much yet, fun quite point. yet. Third and two, handoff goes to Taylor. Left side pushes forward. First down, Cardinals at the 25-yard line. Three yards in a cloud of dust. That's all he needs. You ask him to get one, he gets three. You ask him to get three, he gets three. Occasionally, he'll bust off. Last week, he had a little bit of a nice run. Well, I think the, the big one was... Uh, was that was last, last week? I think it was last week. I thought it was two weeks ago that he had the 20-yarder right off the beginning of the game. I know somebody who's sitting right, right next to shoot. me that could find that information out if he, uh, if he so chooses. Handoff goes to Salazar. Nice wall on the right side. Gets him across the 20, and he spun down to the 19. A gain of six, you second talked, and four. Joe, you talked about his patience, and, and you'll, he puts his, his arm, hand... He puts his hand on the back of his offensive line to kind of see where his flow is going towards. It was last week. It was Taylor last week. Taylor broke off a 26-yarder, yep. his yes, first touch of the ball. Uh, I should have remembered that because as I was... Because you were after, there. After I had said it, I remembered this is the booth I was standing in when I saw it happen, so it must have been last week. Second and four, handoff goes to Taylor, straight up the middle, ran into a wall, and he stopped after a short gain. It'll be third down. Not very often that uh, Taylor gets stopped in his tracks, but uh, a great job of filling the hole right there for the Knights by Moses Yang again. Third and three from the 23. Make that the 17. Third and three from the 18. And a flag. Oh, and they're pointing to the defense. Dead ball, encroachment on the defense. Five yard penalty results in a first down. Cardinals will take that all game long. And now the Cardinals uh, again capitalizing on a Knight's mistake. Well, and too many mistakes, uh, more so by Irondale, especially in key situations. Yeah, Cardinals with first and 10 now at the 13 yard line. Timeout is taken. You know, you can watch live on Facebook. Did you know that, Joe? I like it. I know you like it. I would draw a thumbs up, but I'm not sure I can. 
Well, we can do the uh, arrow. No, I'm not That's sure what pin. that is. It's a I've, pin. I, we put a pin in it. Or a plunger, <laughs> one of the two. <laughs> we have all kinds of stuff we can do. We get, Josh is yelling at us in the truck that we need to switch it back to the squiggle. Here's a toy. Don't play with yeah. it. You put, you, you put a toy in the hands of two children like us. And okay, Cardinals now first and 10 from the 13 of Irondale. Trying to expand their 7-0 lead. Geyer, the man in motion. He'll get the carry. Right side cuts back to the left. Dives forward across the 10 down to the nine yard line, gain of four. Again, just being methodical and continuing to take time off the clock and that seemed to have been working for Coon Rapids this season. And so far, Joe Yund, it's working here tonight. Well, it's hard for the other team to score if they never get the ball. Uh, well, no question. And you know, and that's, and you want to keep it. This is a high powered offense. You want to keep it out of their hands. And, and really, uh, the defense is playing to perfection at this point in doing that. Giving they're it back getting to the a offense. lot of help from, from the Irondale offense they, so they, far. They are, they are, no question about it. And off Taylor right up the middle. He brings the pile down just shy of the five-yard line. And the flag's flag. coming in late. Flags all over the field. We'll see what happens when they sort this one out. It was a gain of four. It should be, before the flags, about a third and two. Too much yellow on the field yep. so far this evening. 7-21 still to play in the second quarter. We'll see where the uh, the infraction happened in here in a minute after we hear. Well, let's from get our the official. story from. I said after we hear the man from our in official. stripes first. Yep. He's still trying to piece it together. Dead ball. Personal foul, number 11 on the offense. 15-yard penalty from the seceding spot. It's going to be third down again. It's going to be Tyler George. We're, and here's Tyler back. George, timeout. but look at number six Red. here as well. Second time out of the half. Yeah, second, second retaliation. Oh, because he's the third he's, player. Uh, in. He's the, yeah, he's the last one. And so instead of third and two Yikes. from the nine, or third and two from the five, it's going to back him up to third and 17 from the 20, if I'm not mistaken. All dead ball after the, after the play, so. And they're putting him back at the 22-yard line. So, you know, penalties so just uh, hurt both squads, no question. Third and 19 from the 22. Yeah, what's in your playbook for third and 19, Joe Yun? Not a lot. Look at penalties. Irondale, six for 50. Coon Rapids, four for 35. And this one just at a, at a stupid time, but George rolling to his left, wants to throw, now does. Pass is dropped. Geyer. Couldn't keep control, and he probably would have been stopped well short, but it would have made it a manageable or more manageable fourth down situation. But now, now you're fourth and long in this situation, and you're not kicking the field goal. It really limits your playbook here. And and one, obviously, he would love to have back. He took his eye off the football. He was looking to run up field. He just took his eye off the ball, and of course, just not concentrating all the way through. Are they going to kick they the are. field goal? They're going to kick the field goal. It's okay. going to be about a 39-yard attempt for Alex Findlay. Right in the center of the field. Big kick for the Cardinals here. They like take a 10-point lead. See 7-16 remaining in the first half. That's not going to do it. Come away empty. But it moved, it did move the ball two yards in their favor because now the Knights will take over at their own 20 instead of 22 had the Cardinals say gone for it and thrown an incomplete pass. That would be true. Just didn't uh, didn't get any loft on that kick. But yeah, that uh, we talked about it on the last drive, you know, on, the, on their opening drive, actually. You don't want those penalties to be drive killers. That one, the personal foul down deep in the red zone. 
killed that one for oh, the Cardinals no instead question. of third and two. They had third and forever, and Knights escape only down by one. Freiburg, a nice run off the right side, a gain of about eight. Well, Joe, and you know what that does for Irondale? It gives them a little confidence, too, because, uh, you know, they were they were down. I mean, at one point, the Cardinals were down at the goal line, and unfortunately, a couple of penalties moved them the wrong way, and now, as you mentioned, just one score down. They have an opportunity to see if they can move this ball up the field. Hand off to Freiburg. He gets loose out across the 40 to the 42. The gain of 15, and the Cardinals have a player down. That's from Darius Willis. Seems to be okay. He's going to come out. Nope, that is not coming out. He refuses. There he saw it. The Cardinals have kept him bottled up so far, but Parker Freiburg, when he gets into open space, definitely has some acceleration. Four carries, 26 yards. You see so far the number, or the numbers for Parker Freiburg. White out of the shotgun. It's a man in motion. Handoff goes to Headley, and Headley oh. is wrapped up and dropped. Dropped the football. Cardinals on top of it. No word from the referee. No, they're, and they're say it was down, but great Caleb job Ness. by Caleb Ness getting in there and getting the tackle for a loss. Boy, he just knifed in there and, and got right at the ankles. Already four tackles here so far tonight. You're going to see watch number two come into your picture. Just getting... Good, good. Hit. That ball came out. Nah, but he hit the no, ground. it came out after he hit the ball. Uh, hit the ground. Third and 14 for Irondale. Keeper for White. He stood up and stopped just past the original line of scrimmage. So it'll be third and a long. Third and about nine. So a third and long situation for the Irondale offense. And, and again, the Cardinal defense is going to put a little bit of pressure on them to try and pick up this first down. Yeah, nice play by Ness on the on the uh, play before. Now you put him in a third and long situation. You pressure, see if you can pressure the passer and get him to uh, and get him to go out. Well, and Alexander did a nice job wrapping up his waist. He wasn't going anywhere. Third and nine, White with four receivers. Freiburg in the backfield with about the shotgun. Looks right, throws, pass complete. And Price has a first down to the Cardinal 40-yard line. Yeah, and the key was that is that he didn't take long to get rid of that football. He was able to deliver it right to Price. The three-step step drop and a quick throw. First time that Price has hauled one in. Handoff goes to Freiburg. Jumps back to his right. Still going and dives forward just shy of the 35 yard line a gain of about five second and five and the Knights want to keep rolling White straight drop looking left now throws pass is complete to Headley and Headley is taken down another first down at the Cardinal 25 yard line. I see now you're starting to let this offense get into a little bit of a rhythm and that's what the defense did not want to happen and again you know after Cardinals coming away empty Irondale doing a good job of attempting to move this ball down the field. Going no huddle trying to keep the pace high just over four minutes remaining here in the second. Headley in motion, rolling right is White. White throws on the run, passes broken up. Nawachi right there. It was over, it was underthrown. It was behind the intended receiver, Aiden Price. And uh, White may be lucky that the Cardinals didn't catch sight of that earlier. It may have been an interception. And yeah, we'll see it again. Just uh, going to roll to his right in the quick throw to the outside. Is it just a little bit over, a little bit too high for him? Well, and well behind and him. Well as behind well. him. Safety over the top had gotten a little bit quicker jump and might have been trouble. Headley in motion, handoff goes to Freiburg. Nice hole up the middle. He's tripped up after a gain inside the 20 to the 19. Will set up third and about four. 
you know, the, the Knights trying to take some some plays out of the Cardinal playbook by just you know driving the ball down the field, taking time off the clock. 3:37 remaining in the half. Looking to try and get a score here before the break. Third and four from the Cardinal 19. White drops, has time, looks, hooks up, right side complete. Malachi a big stop right along the sidelines. The receiver Glodick was looking for a flag, but it will not come. It will be first and goal at the five though. We're gonna see it. He's gonna just he's just gonna break away from the defender. Short out. You see him here. Well, you know, he has, a, he has a, maybe a little bit of a great right there. He was out of bounds when he was hit. And off to Freiburg on first and goal. Gets out of one tackle, dives forward. He's going to come up short, but it'll be second and goal at the one. Now, if the Knights pu push this across, that's a huge bo boost for them because the you know, Cardinals were really controlling this game outside of the fact that they couldn't uh, they couldn't score deep in the Knights' territory their last drive. Yeah, for for a discipline type penalty to take the score possible score away, and now a score at the other end as Freiburg is in from the one, and the Knights are a, a, an extra point away from tying this ball game. Again, a good, good sustained drive by the Knights. Nice job with the, we talked about the offensive line doing a good job of opening some holes, and, and they're not, uh, not tough to get into the end zone there. Good job following your blockers. Derby Hansen's kick is nope. no good, nope. and the Cardinals will keep the one-point lead. Well, we'll see. If, we'll see if that comes back to hurt him later in this game. Now Irondale, Irondale will get the ball back to start the second half, but the Cardinals would well, still time certainly here. like to uh, see if they can't add some more points before the break. We'll see it again. Look at the job offensive line. Big hole pushing that defensive front back. Yep, you see Bream's in there trying to go he's against. A, uh, he's a he's a he's a <laughs> little uh, a little uh, outsized there. That was uh, Taheem Cobb, who's listed at 6'3", 275. Oh, he might be a little bigger than that. And uh, we don't have weights for Nate Bream's. But we don't, but he's, he's not, not that big. He's not 275. That much I can guarantee. Knights pack in the near sideline, so cutting the field into two thirds. See what happens on their kick. Crooks waits and now kicks a short squib kick. It will be scooped up at the 23. Good return out across the 40 to the 42 yard line by Adam Offerdahl. Offerdahl did a nice job of, of picking that ball up, squibbing at squib kick up, and putting the Cardinals in pretty good field position with 2.43 remaining in the half. Well, now as much as their run heavy ball control offense has been working for the most part so far tonight, the Cardinals uh, need to show a little more urgency. 2.43 left in the half. George rolls left, steps up, now throws. Has Geyer behind oh. the defense. It's incomplete. Just out of his reach. He did get behind the safety, Joseph Frischman. Oh, he, he, he had good protection. He's able to unload that pass. But uh, as you mentioned, just a little bit too much on it. But Geyer did a nice job of, uh, of beating the defender. We're going to take another look at this. I guess not. Look at the kicker running up to the Not ball. Big. <laughs> George out of the shotgun on second and ten. Rolls to his left. Looks, plants, throws. Diving for it is the watchy incomplete, and it's third and ten. Well, now you're in a situation, Joe, that if you if you don't make this first give, down, you give Irondale some time coming back. Correct. 
Only taking 12 seconds off the clock with two incomplete passes. I believe they have two timeouts. I can believe Irondale has their complement. Both have two timeouts. Did Irondale take a timeout? Yes, they yeah, do. okay, so then they both have two timeouts. George setting up the screen pass and went right through the hands of Salazar incomplete. And the Cardinals are going to check out a three and out and didn't take 20 seconds off the clock. Well, and, and that too, that even if that pass had been completed, there was he wasn't going to go, uh, he wasn't going to have enough room for the first down. See a couple of defenders right there. Just 17 seconds off the clock. Yeah, that's not that's and not how they give, wanted this series to go. And now you give the ball back to that offense that finally got clicking their last time out. George thought about it, but now will punt it away and gets a pretty good punt. We'll see where they mark it out of bounds. Inside the 25, he's going to stop right at the. Oh, he's, he's backing up. up and I don't know how he's going to stay that. about the 26 yard line. And that's where Iredale will take over with 2.18 to go. Yeah, again, you know, now we're, you know, we'll see this passing game, I believe, of, of Irondale here. Because they, uh, they've, got a great, they've got decent field position with, with a little over two minutes remaining. And they'd, they'd love to go and take, see if they could take this lead before the break. Because as you mentioned, Joe Yun, they do get the ball back to start well, the second and half. Well, their offense sputtered the first couple of possessions. They had a lot of penalties. Uh, couldn't get any rhythm. They started moving the ball and they moved it right into the end zone last time out. And now they get it back again quickly. First and 10, handoff goes to Headley running around the right corner. McMahon lowers the shoulder and drives him out of bounds, but not before he can pick up about six or seven yards. On six or seven yards and he gets to that sideline and stops the clock. Well, it's only a four yard gain. Four receivers in the game for White. Handoff goes to Freiburg and Freiburg gets away. Good block downfield from Price. And he's across the 45 to the 47 yard line, a gain of about 17. Well, Irondale made some has made some adjustments up front because they're doing a much better job of, of handling this defensive line for Coon Rapids. You see the good job blocking up there. You've got a couple of Cardinals not able to get over to the ball carrier. And he's free to pick up some additional yards. First and 10 from the 48. Hand off to Freiburg again, almost hit in the backfield, but eludes the contact. And he's got another solid gain in the Cardinal territory. Stopped up at the 46, a gain of six. Clock continues to roll. You see again, just a quick to the outside. Alexander and Bream's in on the tackle for Coon Rapids, but not before he picks up some positive yardage. White to throw, picked off by Kenny Nawachi. Nawachi looking for some blockers and looking for the right sideline, looking for the strip, a flag flies, ball fumbled out of bounds. It'll be the Cardinals ball after all this, but I'm afraid that penalty is going to be a block in the back on the defense, but that's a huge turnover. And he bobbled it and got all hooked up in the excitement of homecoming. We'll see what the officials say here, but just a great, Kenny with a great play, step in front of the of the receiver well, to pick it up. He knows he's coming. Yep. He oh knows yeah, absolutely. They're going to be coming to Aiden Price a lot. Anticipated the route, jumped up. Made a made a nice adjustment. Not the cleanest pick he's ever had, I'm nope, sure, but, but he'll take very it. effective and came at a key time. And again, I think the flag is going to unfortunately go against the Cardinals and back yeah. him up. Personal foul. During the downs, on the return, 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. It's going to be first down. Call the so personal foul. It'll drop him back to the 30 instead of the 45. But uh, 
main thing is they get the pick. They get the ball back. Just good job anticipating. Fumbled it a little bit and then able to recover it. Flag comes in. I, I don't I don't know if we saw it. We could see it in that, that picture, but on first down, the Cardinals running the ball with Jordan Brown and just a couple of yards. And they know they just uh, spin the clock down and yeah, just maybe take a shot here late. But well, Irondale certainly not stopping the clock at this point. So they'll be uh, they'll be content to take a 7-6 lead into the into the break. George rolls to his left, looks, now throws, passes incomplete. Low intended for Dominic Jones. Last couple of passes by, by George, been, been a little bit low into the ground. And now again, it's third and eight. And you've got to imagine you run the ball here. But oh. Iredale is going, if you don't get the first down, they will call the timeout. See if they can't get the ball back. Only 33 ticks left in the first half. A one-point lead for the Cardinals. Play action. George pressured. Now throws long. Wants Jordan Brown knocked away. Good job coming up to defend by Natir. Well, he hung that up a little bit. Brown had to wait for it. Natir able to come over and get a piece of it to knock it away. 25 seconds left and the Cardinals are going to punt the ball away. You're going to see good job of getting away from the defender. But you see that ball just kind of hangs there. We'll see he's going to get hit after the after the throw too. Got Breams on to punt for the Cardinals. A little bit of a high snap, able to bring it down. Short punt out of bounds. We'll see if uh, if and it's just into Irondale territory. We'll see if Irondale is to be content just to just to run it out and go to the break, or with 18 seconds, I did they take an Aiden opportunity? Price, I think you're definitely taking at least one shot. You get the ball near midfield. But we shall see, uh, Howie Shapiro. Oh, did you I forget my your, name for a minute? I forgot your name. I almost called you Coon Rapids. I don't know. It's synonymous. Three receivers to the right for White. He's going to roll that way. And now throws on the run. The pass is caught by Aiden Price. He's tackled down inbounds at about the Cardinal 35-yard line. Timeout. Timeout. Time Irondale. Yeah. It's their second timeout of the half. See, no, they didn't take a timeout, did they? Yeah. They took one before. Okay. Ten seconds remaining in this uh, in this first half, and Cardinals just certainly must keep things in front of the stripe. Gives you maybe two shots. You do have a timeout, so you can try and get half. Well, make sure you follow us on Twitter. You can tweet all about this. I draw a little bird, but, but, but I don't you... want to. No? Okay, that's a good reason. <laughs> there, there's a bird. There's a bird right, right there. there. And mostly because my artistic ability is pretty much limited to drawing circle-like shapes. Maybe a square-type shape occasionally. All right, first and 10 from the 35. White out of the shotgun. Straight drop, looks to his left, throws. Wants Price in the corner. That ball well underthrown. Incomplete, four seconds remaining. Seen Aiden Price lined up on the right side of the offense most of the evening. They come out of the timeout. And 
put their star timeout player out Dale. wide left. Timeout. timeout. Of Taken by the Knights. It expires in four seconds anyhow. You might as well use it. Why not? One last chance. Take one to last opportunity for the end zone. Talk about it and see if you come out with some sort of trick play or just the Hail Mary attempt. You go Hail Mary, you're really testing your quarterback's arm. It's, it's a heave from there. It is a heave. Kind of expected more of an offensive showing here. So far, the defenses have held the scoring low. It's a 7-6 game, probably the final play of this first half. Irondale runs the reverse, throwing it is Glodick. Coming back to it is Price. I think he may have caught it, but he's at the 10-yard line. The buzzer sounds oh, he did not catch it. And that will end the half. So the Cardinals will go to the locker room up seven to six. The difference, a missed extra point. Don't go away. We got first half stats and highlights after this on CTN. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. First half has been mostly a defensive struggle between the Cardinals and the Knights. Cardinals, a lot of ball control through the majority of the first quarter. They finally got into the end zone. Second play of quarter number two and took a 7-0 lead. It took a while for Irondale's offense to get going. Their first drive by sputtered with a lot of penalties. Their second possession of three and out. And then late in the second quarter, able to drive down and cut the lead to one. They had an opportunity even later with a big pick by Nawachi uh, to keep the Cardinals in front by a point here coming into the second half. Yeah, no question about it. And, it, and it's the kind of game we thought it would be it would be close. We thought maybe a little more scoring than there is, but uh, definitely a good one going going through that first half. Well, we have had Coach Mal Edwards with us. Coach, uh, a tough first half. What do you look forward to in the second? Well, we have to get back to what got us here. I mean, our running game. Um, just some more play goals by me. Uh, kind of hurry the offense a little bit instead of just sticking to our run game and just running at the team because they are giving us a run lane and so on, and now we just have to take it. You know, Coach, what do you talk to your guys about in that in that break? Certainly those those penalties, especially the one when you're down at your own, at their end zone, that had to hurt you a little bit as well. Yeah, I mean, we've always talked about beating ourselves and keeping a clean game. Uh, this, so far, we've had a couple of mistakes, but we are hoping to correct those mistakes and, again, just get back to what brought us here, which is running the football. All right, well, thanks for being with us. Good luck in the second Thank half. Thank you. Uh, we certainly look forward to another exciting half of football. Uh, not a huge stat line like we saw last week. Uh, again, mostly defenses taking over. Uh, the big one is six penalties on each side of the ball, and they came at the wrong times a lot for both squads. You mentioned the one down deep in uh, down deep in the Irondale red zone that may have uh, cost the Cardinals a two-score lead. Uh, midway through that second quarter. Yeah, stats a little more even for the Knights than they are for the Cardinals, but 105 yards rushing. We saw the 350 last week. You know, how this game started, Joe, you wouldn't have thought that uh, 
that Irondale would be leading in total yards the way Coon Rapids controlled that clock in the first quarter. But uh, I'll tell you what, Irondale did a good job of regrouping after after stopping them down, not letting them get a score after that missed field goal, and came back to get a score of their own. Well, and Coach Edwards couldn't be more clear. I think he wants to get back to what they what they do well, and that's running the football. Well, yeah, and, you know, and, and I think that's what they'll continue to do. But penalties put them in situations where they couldn't run the football when they wanted to, and so those, is, as he talked about, you have to play a cleaner game. You can't you can't shoot yourself in the foot. You can't stop drives like that. That's the things they're going to try and well, clean and up here in the second half. And you, you heard him. You know, he he took some blame to himself. Yep. Said, you know, some of those calls. Uh, you know, I'm I'm hurrying the offense, and I, you know, he kind of owned up to that, and that's great. And I think one of the spots he he'd question his own play calling, maybe that uh, that possession right after they got the ball back after Irondale scored, and they went three and out. Only took 17 seconds off the clock. Right, they, half. yeah, with the with yeah, they tried to pass the ball, try and get some chunks of yardage, and really went away from their game plan. Fortunately, did not hurt them. Sears and Ellingson, the deep backs. This one will bounce shy of the 20, and it is a free ball. The Cardinals are on top of it. They are going to take over at the Knights' 22-yard line. And that is just a mental lapse on the part of the special teams for Irondale. Took a, took a Coon Rapids bounce, and... The Cardinals were all over it. Well, again, you know, you take advantage of the situation. You saw the way the ball bounced away from and the Irondale player. He got to it first, knocked it free, and then... Uh, Kalmaj Grant Gant. Jumping on top of it. And the Cardinals have it first and 10 from the 22. Well, that's exactly what the, the kind of break they, love, they wanted to see here to start this second half. Split formation in the backfield. Handoff goes to Taylor, straight forward on the right side, running guys over, taking it with him down to the 15, a gain of seven. Again, you know, he, he's he's the kind of runner that likes to deliver the punishment, not take it. Because you're going to see a good job blocking up front, nice hole, but watch him hit and make contact with the defender, not let the defender make contact with him. Well, big mistake by the Knights to open the second uh, half. Cardinals have to be able to take advantage. George under center on second and three. Handoff goes to Taylor again, cuts to his right, leans forward and should have a first down yeah, to the does. 11. A couple of nice, uh, tough runs for Miles Taylor. See again. Watch the front up, watch up front where they're just going to push that front wall back. And Miles is one of those runners that's going to take, it's going to take two to three tacklers to bring him to the ground. Brown moves in motion right to left. Handoff goes to Salazar, left side pushed back after a very short gain. It'll be second and nine. Yeah, good job, good job that time defensively just to, to stonewall that. Took the running lane away and limited him. Can get a first down without scoring the one. Handoff goes to Salazar, nice hole right side. Dives forward to the three. It'll be third and short. Give the ball to number 33. Like I said, a little misdirection there, and a nice job cutting up into the hole. We talked about his vision. And well, there's he, he, so many dangerous weapons yeah. that could come at you with the ball out of that backfield. Got to try and account for all of them when you're on the defense against Coon Rapids. No question. Third and two from the three. Handoff, Taylor didn't find any room and he's moving backwards. Tried to flip it back to George, but the whistles had blown and he's gonna lose yardage back to the five where it'll be fourth and four.
We'll see what they call here, fourth and four. Bring in a couple of different pieces as Salazar goes. Jones comes in and Ness over comes to in. The board, over to the sideline. Leaf Taylor is the lone setback in the backfield with George, who's out of the shotgun. Slot right is Brown. Taylor wings out, little shovel pass inside, cutting back. Geyer, touchdown, two Rapids. I like that play. They, they w pushed Taylor wide, brought a little bit of the defense with him, allowed that inside to open up a little bit more. And caught that defense off guard by the shovel pass to Geyer. Well, and the Cardinals, again, needed to be able to take advantage of this mistake to open the second half. And Geyer, another one, refusing to go down, just keeps battling. Broke the plane, and Finley out to try and make it an eight-point lead for the team. The snap is good. The hold is down. The kick is through. Cardinals lead 14-6. to six. Yeah, we'll talk about that extra point missed by Irondale as this game continues to unfold. Will that uh, will that come back to haunt them? But again, you talked about it. They needed to take advantage of that short field, the turnover on the opening kickoff, and they did. And they needed to get seven, and they uh, and they were able to do so. I'm going to guess that uh, the night return team a little more aggressive going after the ball here as we get set to kick it off this yeah, time around. I would think so. And again, nice blocking up front. And then I like the way they pulled the defense away from the center of the field, allowing Geyer to cut up inside. Good play, but good play call. And executed well also. Just six plays, 3.06 off the clock to go 22 yards. Finley, another high, short kick. This one will be taken at the 23. Oh. Great tackle by Teddy Nawachi. Well, you know, you, you Ellingson just... hardly had any time to get going. <laughs> and Nawachi, the gunner for the Cardinals, got there and took him down alone. Yeah, a little bit of a shorter kick, and he had he had that on the run. He thought he was going to be able to pick up some good yardage, but Kenny Watchy made sure that uh, he wasn't going to go anywhere. I mean, look at number one coming to your picture, and a solid tackle, making sure that grabbed him around the waist, twisted, and brought him to the ground. Good show of strength and speed. And now it's White out of the shotgun, rolling to his right, wants to throw. His favorite target far downfield. He goes to the short man and well defended as he tried to get it to Headley. It was uh, badness on the coverage. Badness coming in and looking like. Oh, he's got that linebacker position. So he's got that one inside linebacker position. Knight spreading him out. Handoff goes to Freiburg. He is stood up right at the line of scrimmage and driven back, filling the hole. Friend Darius Willis. He does take up some space along the line. He's not a tall young man, but he is a big young man. And you're right. He's able to stuff that middle. Oh, look, at that's uh, Ness, the Caleb Ness just driving him back. Was it Ness that, that made was the initial Ness. hit? Yeah. I thought it I thought it was somebody well, taller, but then I saw Willis come Willis out Willis the was in there. Third and ten, rolling is white, throws, pass, incomplete intended for Aiden Price. But again, good pressure by the defense. Forcing well, Brendan White. That's a tough start to the second half for the Knights. The turnover, or the not really the turnover, the gaff that allowed the Cardinals to recover yep. the opening kickoff, and now a quick three and out. And he gives the offense the ball back. The Cardinals should end up with pretty good field position. Price targeted seven times tonight, only three catches on the evening so far. Damn a the good floor. boot. Nawachi will back up, he will drop it, he'll scoop it back up at the 32. Avoid contact, spun around, still going, he's right back to the 32, where he's taken down. 
Not much room. It was a good punt. It was a, it was a boomer. There's a, a flag. Let's see what they call here. This is at about the 35 discussing it. So he's able to pick that one up, muffed it a little bit. But again, nowhere to go. Good job, special teams with Irondale special teams to keep them bottled up. It's a long, long discussion to decide uh, what the flag is. They're pointing. Well, they're talking to Ness, so it yeah. must be going against Irondale. Flag was way, way downfield, right near the, actually behind the original line of scrimmage. Growing old, waiting for the call here. Yeah. They're going to back it. Well, they backed it up, so it must have gone against Kim Roberts. Anytime. Something happened. We're not sure what. Apparently, it's going to cost the Cardinals five yards. So they, it looks like they're going to start during around the, the 20. The Here we go. You've got a face mask. Keen Rapids. It's a five yard penalty. First down. Oh, there you go. Right, there you, well, took a long time to figure that out. Face mask. On the return team. Hey, I think we got things settled down a little bit. Well, Cardinal offense starting to get things sorted out. George out of the shotgun, hands off to Salazar up the middle. Good job by the offensive line, just moving the Knights back. And he's going to be out across the 30 to the 31, a gain of three. Yeah, defense adjusted, uh, able to just pick up that short gain. Initial, initial job, good job by the offensive line at the point of attack, but defense came and filled in. Well, and if the Cardinals can can have another good sustained drive that ends up with points, uh, they could really put the screws into the Knights before they get to the fourth quarter. Of course, with the way they control the ball, they may still be on this drive when the fourth quarter begins. Hand off again to Salazar, running behind a couple of blockers to the right side. He spins his way forward to the... 34 yard line, a gain of three, he'll set up third and four. Real estate a little tougher to come by here. He tried to, tried to find his way behind the line, but a good job defensively. A big third Yang, down I here believe, for, coming from behind. Big third down here, more so for the Irondale defense than for the Coon Rapids offense that has that eight point lead here midway through the third quarter. Defense for Irondale needs a stop to try and get the ball back for its offense, which is again stuttering to start the second half. George rolls, throws, pass oh. incomplete, bounced away from Jordan Brown, and the Cardinals will be held to a punting situation. He has to make that catch. That's uh, that's a ball put right on him. That would that's a first down. We'll see it again. Just a, a quick roll to the left, and that's right on Brown's hands. Let him get through to his shoulder pad. Hard to control. Tyler George had been doing most of the punting through the first three weeks of the season. Now we see Nate Breams again standing just outside his own 20. And he gets away a good boot. This one is going to take a great cardinal roll, too. Look at it. It's going to die inside the 10 and be down there. A beautiful punt for Breams. Yeah, again, I'll kick the, the uh, returners. Yeah, Ellingson. Uh, yeah, they're, up, they're up pretty close, and well, I think no for opportunity. Most, I, I think for most, they, they're right where he expects it to be. Didn't that, expect that and, one. But uh, yeah, he tracked it kind of slow, and then by the time he started moving back, he realized it was over his head. And he wasn't going to catch up, and then just a great roll for the Cardinals down at the nine-yard line. So a long field in front of Iredale as they take over with 6:03 to play in the third. 
They trail by eight. They'll start in the pistol with White in front of Freiburg. Freiburg gets the carry, and he's going to gain about five before they blow it dead, just shy of the 15-yard line. Oh, now there's a uh, now there's going to be a penalty on Coon Rapids again, unsportsmanlike. Well, after the play and they, the discipline penalties, we talk about them over and over yeah, and over again. Yeah, you can't have that. They they are what just can kill. They can kill a drive yep. and they can they keep a drive alive. They can, and they can change the outcome from dead ball, personal foul, offense number fifty, defense number fifty, fifteen yard penalty. It's going to be first down. But uh, it makes it, you're, you're challenging yourself. And as coach talked about, you know, we can't go out there and beat ourselves. Well, you know, I'm not so uh, so much sure that it wasn't it wasn't for contact. I think it was for what he Taunting. said to him. Yeah, I don't. I he don't got think in his there face. No, he contact. got in his face and he said something to him, and and that's just you can't do that. You can't do that. And the official was right there. Willis getting a getting an earful on the sideline from the coaching staff. It's first and ten for Iredale. White on a broken play is going to be swallowed up for a short loss. And he should get a talking to in that situation. You can't you can't have those kind of penalties. Well, and they've already committed so many of them that are just completely unnecessary. And, and those are the ones that that in a close game could be the difference. No question. Cardinals just got to regroup. And again, get back to what they do well, and that is play defense and run the football. Second and 11, White has three receivers to his left. Handoff goes to Freiburg, trying to get around the left edge. Good pursuit by the defense as he's tracked down and forced out of bounds. After a gain of a couple, it'll be third and long. Now you put him now in a third and long situation, and your defense, uh, your defense can do some things. You can, you can pressure. And you talk about it. You know, we talked about it when the Cardinals had the ball. How big a third down it was for the Irondale defense. This is a big third down for the Irondale offense now. Trailing, they need to be able to get something going. Well defended, did he make the catch? He, he did. did. What a catch by Aiden Price. He had Nowachi all over him with great coverage and somehow able to bring that catch in. That's why he's got over 300 yards and six touchdowns in the first three games. Sure hands and a pass right in there. Gain of nine, handoff goes to Freiburg on first and ten. He bounces outside, and he's got a nice gain. Another first down as he stopped up just shy of midfield. Gain of 12. Nuachi on the tackle for Coon Rapids, but again, this time you're in a situation where Colonel's got to get that player off the field. They just do. White. On play action, wants to run it himself. He's tripped up. Good tackle by Caleb Ness. Gain still of about four yards, though, into Coon Rapids territory. We can see it here. This was a designed run by the quarterback. But you said Ness coming in your picture and, and bringing him down before he could gain some additional yardage. The second and six from the 47 of Coon Rapids. Ness out of the out of the game. Hopefully he's okay. He's going back to the bench. Water. A little water break. White sets, throws, wants Price down the right sideline, incomplete. McMahon was there with him step for step. And another big third down now. You can see here, you, as you mentioned, good coverage Great by pocket. McMahon. And he's, yeah, he's, McMahon yeah, he's got him. He's got his head back early on, and 
Price does get by him at the at the end, but uh, ball out of reach. We have six on third down for the Knights. Big third down situation here for the Cardinal defense. Pass is caught, complete to Hedberg, and he is hammered short of the first down. And boy, he's, uh, he's slow to get up. He yeah. got hit hard. Yeah, hopefully he's okay. It was a hard one-two hit, solid stop. Nothing dirty about it, but... No, just a, just a solid hit. Thomas Silla on the tackle for Coon Rapids. Let's see it here. Watch that. Watch the hit. One got him high. One got him low. Hey, it's, it's good to see him running off uh, off the field under his own power. Good hard finish by Forrest Wolf, just a sophomore for the Cardinals. And a huge fourth down right here for Forest Lake. This is this is big. I know you're trailing, but it's still I don't third know. quarter. I'd almost punt. I, I would punt it that's as well. A, that's a long fourth you, down. You got to faith. You have you're faith in your really, offense. You're not really in desperate situation here. Just don't jump. Uh, defensive line has to make sure they stay still. White rolling to his right. Throws pass is complete. And that will be a first down to Leighton Glodick. Able to, to put enough pieces out there and get Glodick open underneath. Get the first down to the Cardinal 39. Keeps this drive alive for Iredale, more importantly, trailing by eight. Handoff goes to Freiburg up the middle. Second effort will get him about four yards, maybe only three. Knights like to keep the tempo up. Keep the Cardinals from catching their breath. Fake the give to Glodick. Smith wanted to take it, or White wanted to take it himself, ball and he out. was absolutely driven back. There is a battle for the ball on the ground, but it'll be Irondale ball. Take another look at it. It's tried to put it in go, but the Miles, Miles Taylor just, just pounded him. It's a tackle. Just keep you, he keeps his feet moving, whether he's running it or whether he's stopping the run. Loss of two, third and nine from the 38. Another big third down long yardage situation. 90 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Cardinals clinging to an eight point lead. White will hand it off to Freiburg. He stopped at the line, spins, but nowhere to go. Team tackle. And it's fourth and long. Maybe gained a yard. I don't know where they put it. It's a hard yard at that. With Caleb Ness on the tackle for the Cardinals. Good to see him back in that game. I saw him come out a little bit earlier. So now a fourth and nine from the 38. Already nine tackles for Caleb, but he had nine last week. Well, 11 to go, 11 actually in that last week in a sack as well. He can play ball. He's good. Fourth and long, White waiting, now throws. Pass complete to Price, cutting across. He's got a first down inside the Coon Rapids 20 yard line. It's two big fourth down conversions for the Knights on this drive. Good time, plenty of time in the pocket to look over the field and a nice throw. A little bit high, but Price with a really good receiver, able to bring it down. 20 yard gain. First and 10 from the 18, under 30 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Hand
And to the man in motion, Sears trying to get around that right edge. Good pursuit again by the Cardinals. Defense along the edge didn't give them a lot. And that probably should do it for the quarter, I believe. It will. So Coon Rapids will take a eight point lead to the fourth quarter. But Irondale is threatening. They're inside the red zone when we start the fourth after this on CTN. drive from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. Back at Coon Rapids High School, Cardinals holding the lead, but the Knights threatening as we start the fourth quarter. That defense trying to hold tough here, not let them cross that stripe. Ball right at the 15 yard line, so a gain of about three for Sears. I circled myself, there I am. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everybody should get in on the fun. First and, oh, sorry, second and seven from the 15. Sears, the man in motion, he'll get the carry again, this time running left, wants to cut up. Ness is there to drag him down for a three-yard loss. Yeah, he's all over the field. That's his 11th tackle on the evening, as we still have a quarter to go. Jordan Brown lost his helmet again. Not sure where that happened. They, they're going to give him a better spot than I thought they maybe should have. A shorter loss, but it'll be third and eight from the 16. Couple of backs in the backfield. Handoff goes to Freiburg. And he is stopped up after another short game. They're going to stop him. Blow it dead at about the 13. It'll be fourth and five from there. Every fourth down, a big set of downs for the Cardinal defense. Well, they've, they've stopped now three straight third downs, but twice in a row, the Knights have been able to convert on fourth down. Both times they have done it with the pass. Once it went to Golodic, last time it went to Price. Now on fourth down. White throws, corner of the end zone. Glodick fell down on the cut, passes incomplete. Turnover on downs, Coon Rapids football. Able to hold it after a couple of fourth down conversions by Irondale. The third one proves to be the charm for the Cardinal defense. You're gonna see Jordan Brown coming in and, and really getting in his face. You're right though, he, he fell down eliminating any opportunity. Well, I think Silla had him pretty well covered anyhow and had him shaded to the inside part of the field. The throw went back to the outside, so Silla would have had position even if Glodek had not slipped on the cut. Jake Van Holtzen in for the Cardinals. Cardinals take over first and 10, hand off Miles Taylor straight up the gut, and a nice gain out to the 20 yard line, a gain of about seven. That's what they'll continue to do. They'll continue to work that clock and work the ground game. Nursing an eight point lead. Again, look at the blocking up front of that hole that Miles had to run through and keeping those legs moving to pick up that additional yardage. You know, puts him such in a, in a short, second and short, you can do so much more in, that, in your playbook. 
And off goes to Bream's right side. He's got the first down out to the 25 yard line. They're working their, their way out of a little bit of a hole next to the uh, right by your own end zone. Well, and this is exactly what they want to do. Chew up a lot more oh, yeah, clock, continue absolutely. to move the chains, and if they can finish it in the end zone at best, but definitely adding and making it a two-score game is the uh, goal at the end of this drive. Handoff goes to Salazar. No, it was Breams again, and he's going to gain about four up to the 29. And you can see that defense cheating in for they They, they feel that it's going to be that inside run. That defense able to cheat up, and we'll see if that comes back or something in the playbook will allow them to beat that situation. Well, if you keep getting four yards every time you run up the middle, yep. why would you do anything you, else? You wouldn't. Timeout, Cardinals. Coach Edwards. Timeout. Coming out, obviously, again. Didn't, both First times we've timeout. seen these types of timeouts, it has been automatically as they came up to the line, and yep. Coach Edwards immediately looked at the formation and said that's not what well, you know and, and that's that, not what we're going for in that situation that you know it, you're better off calling the timeout make sure everybody's on the same page especially with your you know you're in you're into the fourth quarter you're nursing an eight-point lead and you want to continue to again to control the ball run the ball keep it on the ground and chew up that clock the timeout obviously uh, hinders that game plan that does but you want to make sure you're on the your your offense is on the same plan as you are as head coach. It's our buddy Brandon. There you go, Brandon. You're circled. You'll like that. You go home and watch it. Second and six, Van Holsen under center from the 29-yard line. Salazar, the man in motion, handoff goes to Miles Taylor right up the middle, and he's going to gain a bunch. But he's going to be stopped up just shy of the first down. It'll be third and one. Yeah, about a yard short. And again, using that that power running again, pushing. The, you know, you've got an offensive line like the Cardinals, so you can and you get that push off the off the point of attack. You you're able to pick up that kind of yardage. Well, and again, if, if they don't have the, the guy on the bottom that wraps up his legs, Taylor might just have pushed the two tacklers that got him up high. He probably would have pushed them right. beyond the, the first down marker. So that's a big tackle at the bottom of the pile, tying up his legs. Third and short. Saying Geyer in motion. The inside reverse goes to Brown on the counter. He's got a first down across the 40. And the Cardinals move the chains again. Our defense looking for 33, and 33 goes to the outside, and it takes that middle away from the defense as they're traveling to follow him. And a nice misdirection to give to Jordan Brown, picking up that first down, keeping that drive alive. Again, look at that, a good stand-up block there, allowing him to gain that hole. Five straight runs, they've moved the ball 28 yards. And at first and 10 from there on 41, handoff goes up the middle to Taylor and he's gonna fight his way forward for a gain of about three more. Was that three yards to cloud of dust? Yeah, that's actually, well, the game Three yards. Looks three yards. Cloud of dust. Second and seven from the 44. Ah. And watch, he jumped. He was. Dead ball. False start on the offense. Number one. Five yard penalty. Still second down. Puts them in a second long now situation, longer than they were. And I know Coach Edwards is not pleased with that.
Well, and then the, the question is, you want to keep running the ball and, and running the clock but in, a, in a long down situation. Yeah. Are you still going to try and run the ball here at this part of the field and this part of the game? And if you have to go to a throwing down, does Van Holzen stay in, or do you bring George back on the field? You're going to have third and long here as Salazar did a nice job at least making a positive gain out of one where he was stopped in the backfield. But it'll be third and 11 from the, from the 40. Well, and you talk about penalties, this really hurts you in those situations, especially when you're trying to control the clock. Yeah, clock continues to move, but now you're at third and 11 and you have a different situation than you're not able to, as you mentioned, you're, you're not able to run that ball up the gut in this and, situation. And Van Holzen will stay in at quarterback. If he throws the ball, it would be his first attempt of the night. In the slot on the right side is Jordan Brown. Rolling to his left is Van Holzen. Van Holzen throws on the run. Pass is broken up by Natir. Intended for Nawachi. That stops the clock with 624 remaining in the in this contest. The Cardinals are gonna have to punt it away. And again, the more opportunity you give it to a, an offense like Irondale, the tougher it's gonna make it for your defense. Nawachi lucky that uh, a little slippage on the part of uh, Apperson there. That ball went up in the air, and this punt was blocked. It's scooped up on the run the other way is Sears. No one's going to catch him. Touchdown, Irondale. And they're a two-point conversion away now from tying the game. Well, you talk about turning the tide. Again, it took a little time to, to decide what he wanted to do, where he wanted to kick that ball, and it was a little bit too much time because Irondale special team got in there and got a piece of it. And Sears at the right place at the right time able to pick that up. And you mentioned he is fast. Nobody was going to catch him to the end zone. And as you, you, you talked about, a two-point play away from tying this game up. And that gives Irondale a lot of momentum now on their sideline. All of a sudden, the, the sideline here on the Cardinal side got quiet. But you know, they're obviously going to, they have to go for two in this situation. Cardinals trying to get a timeout. Handoff goes to Freiburg left side, and he is not in. The Cardinals hold, and they will stay in front 14-12. Wow. And the Cardinals are so trying to get a timeout. Coach Weber was trying to get that timeout. The officials did not see him. And But the defense comes up big. Stop it on that, uh, that two-point try. See it again. Here's the block kick, and it just didn't get the loft underneath. That was that was Yang who blocked it, and then Sears picking it up and running it in. Huge. We'll see it again. Hey, you talk about you know, yeah, just right on there a hop on a hop, the right fastest, into place one of the where fastest he is. guys yep. on the field. And then trying to get in, but good job. Stuffing that Team middle. Effort, McMahon there to stop his progress. Brown was there. Cardinals bringing the hands team in and looking out for a possible onside kick here. Offered all the one deep back for the Cardinals, standing outside his own 20. Crooks will go short again. Jordan Brown from the 34, right up the middle. Nice hole for him, and he's back near midfield where the Cardinals will take over. Uh, great field position now. Coon Raffles goes back to that running game. There's a flag on the, on the play. Let's we'll see who this is called against. Too, many, too much yellow on the field tonight, no question. This one looks like it's going against Irondale, I think. On punt coverage? That would be odd. Personal foul, face mask. Unless two. it was a face mask. Yeah, there you go. Then Not it wouldn't so be odd. that odd. The the well, the way they were First looking, out. the way they were, they were looking, oh, Coach uh, Fuller's not happy. 
Well, and that, well yeah, it's going to put Let's see where it comes in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he totally, yeah, he definitely grabbed it. You cannot grab the face mask and control the head. It's against the rules. And it's not allowed. <laughs> that, too. So the Cardinals, instead of being near midfield, will be at the Irondale 37. Tyler George will return in the quarterback role. Geyer goes in motion. He gets the carry. A lot of white jerseys in the backfield. He swallowed up and dropped for a huge loss. Yeah, again, you know, that didn't fool the defense uh, whatsoever. Took way, took way too long to develop. Yep. And, uh, you know, why are you not just slamming it right up the middle? Well, that's, that's what, what was, was working. That was working for you last drive until the penalty. Now it's second and 14, and you're in a, in a long situation again. Second and 15, even. Second and a lot. And a whole bunch. George out of the shotgun as Taylor in the backfield with him. Slot receiver on either side. They go to that little shovel pass to Carter Geyer, trying to find a lane to run through. It's going to get back past the original line of scrimmage, but it'll still be a third and nine, maybe even a third and eight. Under five minutes remaining. You mentioned third and eight situation. Well, and I think here, I think you go right back to what works for you. I think yeah. you run a f run, you pick up four or five yards, see what you do on on uh, fourth down. They, again, it did some misdirection in the backfield, and it just took too long. They tried to get it back on the counter to Jordan Brown, but by the time it was in his hands, he was surrounded. Timeout, Irondale with 4:24 to play. And now the fourth and si long situation. Again, Yang doing a good job of plugging up that middle, not letting Br Brown really gain anything. Allowing his teammates to come over and make the play. He's yeah, now you got fourth and eight from the 35. This play right here could be the ball game. Cardinals need to keep possession. The momentum swing that would move to the visiting side could be spectacular Huge. based on the result of this play. And plus, if you if you don't if you don't gain much yardage here, you give them pretty good field position. They're going to punt it. Well, let's hope the punt works better than last time. Yeah. Bream standing a bit further back from the line of scrimmage. He's just outside the 45. Could get away a decent punt. And it will bounce and roll and stay out of the end zone. That's another one down to deep in Irondale territory right at the five. What a great bounce. Now you put the pressure back on your defense. You've got to make a stop here. You can't let this offense take time off the clock and go down the field. Well, they have a lot of field in front of them. They do, but they have a good passing game when, when they're on, too. They have a very good uh, quarterback, and, and Price is a very good receiver. He's able to find open space, good even with hands, defenders on speed. him. Got a couple other weapons out there as well. They'll start with themselves backed up to their own end zone, first and 10 from their own five yard line. White stakes it, straight drop, pass complete to Freiburg out of the backfield. Freiburg looking for extra room, will be forced out of bounds. You can see Thomas Silla knock him out of bounds, but again, good, uh, good little gain. As Freiberg is able to turn up field. Picks up about seven. 
Second and three from the 17. Cardinals showing blitz and they got offside. Dead ball, encroachment on the defense. Five yard penalty, results in a first down. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see by the time this game is over what the uh, the amount of penalties and the yardage when it all is said and well, done. And, and, and more than that, it's, it's the it's situational. Yep. And, it, and it, first you, first you, you basically throw away a, a short goal line situation and you don't end up getting any points. Uh, now you're, you got him sort of backed up deep late in the game and here's an opportunity, Freiburg getting away and he's got a huge gain into Cardinal territory to the 45. And still plenty of time, just under four minutes remaining. Thirty-eight yard gain, and now the time is kind of on the side of the Knights if no they question. can put points on the board. Just under four minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter, a two-point lead for the home team Cardinals. Set up the screen again to Freiburg, and he dropped it. Oh, they're going to say he did catch it, but right back at the line of scrimmage. And that's a big difference because yep. the line, the clock keeps going. See it here, just the, the throw to the outside. And... I don't think that was a catch. No, I think it hit the ground. Second and ten, handoff. Goes to Sears, looking for room around the right side. He gets around the corner. A stiff farm has the first down at the Cardinal 33-yard line. As they set the uh, first down markers, they, I don't believe he got out of bounds. Yeah, no, he the didn't. clock continues to run. Defense needs to come up with a big play here. Four receivers in the game. First and ten from the Cardinal 33. White straight drop looking to his left, looking for that screen and found it to Freiburg again. Can't jump past that tackle. Held on to nicely by Caleb Ness. Stopped a for a short game. A lot of helmets coming off tonight. Yeah, it's been since like the, the opening kickoff pretty much. Quick little throw to Freiburg, and again, defense not there, but Geyer able to make the tackle, and yeah, the helmet pops off. Oh, whoa! Face mask they didn't. Uh, they yeah, didn't see Caleb that. Ness, uh... They're fortunate. Oh, and it wasn't Ness. It was Carter Geyer making the tackle underneath. Yeah, but, yeah, but Ness was the but one. But Ness with the face was the mask. one that ripped his helmet off. Yeah. And uh, very fortunate. There's no 15 yards oh. tagged on. Not sure to what the our, end of the run. Our officials are discuss are discussing here. Second and six from the 29. White fakes the give to Freiburg, rolls to his right, has time, throws, passes complete to Price, Coming he's back. dropped immediately. That's a hold. Would be a first down if it stood, but the flag is gonna bring it back. Yeah. Again, here's another a flag, a situation in a flag that on Irondale that hurts you on a drive. Well, yeah, and, and both teams have made them, but it, it seems the Cardinals have come up with the penalties in the again the discipline type penalties at the very worst time so far in this contest holding on the offense 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul repeat second down and that's a big big turnaround you know instead of having a 10 yard gain and a first down at the 22 they're going to be backed up, it looks like, spotted at the 43-yard line. So it, it will be second and 20 from there. PA announcer Adam Tronson getting the home crowd worked into a froth to try and disrupt this Iredale offense. Second and long, White looks to his right, throws, pass complete to Price, but he had to go down and get it. It'll be third 
at about 13. But not only that, the, the, the clock continues to tick away, and depending on how you look at it, it could be good for either squad. Third and 13, White has lots of time, throwing over the middle, pass is defended by McMahon, got way up to get a piece of it. And I, I was worried there for a minute that Headley may catch it after the deflection, but uh, that was a great pass defense by Deion McMahon. That was huge. Now, now this, is, uh, this is the game here with a minute 43 remaining, fourth and long. He went way he up did. to get that, too. This is the ball game, essentially. Fourth and 13 from the 36. They made a couple of fourth down conversions earlier, nothing quite this long. But they have the weapons to do it. White drops back, has time, rolls, throws, pass is broken up. Caleb Ness, first one to get a hand on him. And he was looking for Aiden Price, but he was surrounded in red. They had four defenders locked up on the Knights' primary target. And smartly as well. Again, you keep that, you keep that ball in front of the marker. And and you make sure you don't commit an infraction, and that's exactly what the Cardinals did. So the Cardinals will take over with 1.35 to go. Irondale a couple of timeouts remaining in the half. So the Cardinals presumably will come out and run the ball straight up the gut. You would think. Force Irondale to take their timeouts, but one, one first down really away from getting another win. They're third in a row and improving their season record to three and one. Hey, Miles Taylor, you think number 33 will, uh, will carry that rock? I have faith in both of them back there, but they will give it to Taylor, and he will slam his way forward across the 40 to the 41, a gain of five. And a Quick timeout time yep. from Irondale. I believe they're second, so they will have one more. But time is not on their side. No longer is time on their side. Now definitely favoring the home team that is clinging to a two-point lead. And has the ball here, second and five from their own 40. Second and five. And off to Taylor again, right up the middle. And somehow that pile just keeps moving out to the 45 yard line where it'll be third and one. Yeah, they, they continue to push those big boys up front, push that pile. And, and uh, well, he, you he's... got both Taylor boys to uh, yeah. <laughs> try and stop because Quincy's leading the pack in there from his line position. But that offensive line, including Quincy, they have done such a great job, uh, again, throughout the first part of this season. They have an injured you know, they don't. They don't get as maybe the, the credit they, that the guys carrying the ball do, but. It's Ronnie Trass. But the guys carrying the ball can't get all the yardage without the work of the big guys up front. No question about it. Well, and. You certainly hope the Irondale player is okay. Bringing him water, it doesn't, hard to tell, but, but it does save him a timeout. One twenty-one, still on the clock here. We just hope oh, he's okay. Yeah, yeah it looks like they're yeah. gonna get him up, and he's a big man. Uh, to, he's a big it, young man to get up, up. And, and that's a classy move. It's the Ricky Soto. Fight Ricky Soto yep. came out to uh, offer some assistance to Ronnie Trass. 
A little shaking up on the play, and yeah, he's limping a little bit. Hopefully nothing more severe than a, than a Charlie horse or a cramp. Well, with the way the heat and the humidity is here, I would that certainly, I'm surprised we didn't see more of that. Correct. So third and one from their own 45 yard line. The first down will essentially clinch the win with Irondale just one remaining time out. They go with the quarterback sneak and George easily has the yardage for the first down. And they're able to extend that. The Cardinals that. are gonna, going to survive what uh, easily could have gone the other way, a game where, where they, again, committed way too many penalties, the wrong types of penalties at the very worst times. And then, of course, you have the uh, the lucky bounce, I guess, or unlucky bounce for the Cardinals' sake on uh, the returned blocked punt by Sears that, that made it as exciting as it is here at the end. But Cardinals will just kneel on it a couple of times and uh, they will improve themselves to three and one. Yeah, and, and to get a win on your homecoming against a team like Irondale, who you know, came into this this game undefeated and, and, well, and putting up 104 points in three games, just, you know, being a juggernaut offensively. Yeah, and I... And Give I, credit to both offense and defense, no but that question. defense for sure really absolutely. stepped up and played big here tonight. Well, absolutely, and, and again, we knew that Irondale's defense has played really well through the first three games, and they did well again here tonight. Yep holding the Cardinals who put up 41 points last week to just 14 points this this week their their rushing yardage was half of what it was against Park Center uh, so they certainly didn't make it easy but uh, yeah both teams way too many penalties and uh, the Cardinals are, are able to survive yeah they they have definitely and, and to move to three and one uh, you know, as you mentioned, three three wins in a row really boosts this program, no question about it. You look at the rest of the schedule, and you and I had talked about, we thought this was the, maybe the toughest game on their schedule all year. They've got some opportunities to continue this winning streak. Yeah, they 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 go back on the road, but, uh, and, and remember, their last two games of the season are their other two divisional opponents on the road against Armstrong and then coming home uh, to finish against Hopkins. So those will matter a little more than the next two, uh, but uh, they're on the road next week uh, and then they, they come back home and they have uh, Chan Hansen coming here in a couple Correct. weeks. So uh, just based on the schedule and, and the strength of the opponent, uh, Cardinals probably the favored team in each of their last four matchups. No, no matchups question. Right They're now. sitting in a good spot. We will take a break. We'll be back with uh, some post-game reaction, more wrap-up, some highlights, and to talk a little bit more about the Cardinals' 14-12 win that propels them to 3-1 and one on the season. Every day across America, Excess food is gathered by a network of good people at local food banks, giving hope to millions of children who struggle with hunger. They've earned their wings, and you can too. Together, we can solve child hunger. Support Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. job to do today. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in your community. Feels good to start fresh, right? Sure does. And like that, you're a job creator.
listen now Can you hear the bluebirds? Oh, look up now Can you feel the sun? A sea of red and Cardinal pride as the nation has taken over the field here at the Cardinal Stadium. Second week in a row, the home team has been able to get down on the field and celebrate a victory, and it had been a long time coming. Defense playing a huge key to their victory here tonight, and one of the stars of the defense joining us, Caleb Ness. First of all, congratulations on the win. How does it feel? It feels amazing. I mean, coming out homecoming, we played for each other, played for the city. I mean, it's just the biggest win we could have got right now, especially knocking off Irondale. They're talking about their Jerry Rice and uh, wide receiver combo. Locked them down. It was a good game. Okay, you know, talk about certainly defense played really well. You guys earned this victory. That last play where that uh, they were thrown to their best receiver, you got a piece of it, able to knock it away. Talk about what uh, your defense was talking about right before that snap. Defensively, we just knew fourth down, we had to get off the field. I mean, we get off the field that time, and we'd be good. We win. And... I mean, could have been a pick, but football smarts, you drop it on that fourth down. So that's all that was going through my head. Well, you did, you did it exactly right, and it's been a lot of fun uh, to watch. What, uh, what difference is there in the locker room now that you're halfway through the season? You've got a little more, uh, you know, you've had some, some success and some things to celebrate. Is there a, a difference in the mood throughout the locker room? There's just intensity everywhere. Like everybody's confident that we're going to come out and win. Everybody's confident going out to practice that we're going to be perfect. Everything we do, and just the locker room. It's it's great. Like it hasn't been like this the past two years. That's for sure. All right. Well, congratulations. Go celebrate some more. You've definitely earned it. And the Cardinal Nation has been thirsty, just starving uh, for this type of success. And now they've got it. Uh, three straight wins. The Cardinals only loss at the midway point of the season now uh, was in overtime in the opener against Chaska. A weird bounce goes the Cardinals favor. A good heads up play. It was a tight game at the half. It was 7-6, but the Cardinals got the opening possession back and they pushed it into the end zone. Carter Geyer scoring and making it 14 to six, but then the blocked punt that ends up right in the gut of Arias Sears. He returns at 45 yards for the score. A huge stop. We didn't talk about to Caleb about this one, but you talk about it, he was in the middle of it, but the whole defense was there to come up with a stop on, on uh, the big two point conversion. And then uh, on the final drive, the Cardinals just swarming keeping the pressure on and look at all the jerseys around. And it was Ness who got a hand on the ball again before it got to Aiden Price. Well, you know, just smart football by Caleb Ness, able just to come across, make sure he didn't make any contact and got the and got the piece of it. You look at uh, look more total yards for Irondale, pretty well balanced, 123 on the ground, 142 through the air. The Cardinals a little more yards rushing, obviously, not the 350 they had last week, but they'll take it 164 on the evening and uh, still controlled that time of possession by about seven minutes. And really that was a key for them, especially in that first quarter. 18 penalties for 169 yards combined. Ah, not good. And uh, that will be, I'm sure, the teaching point for both coaches as they head into the next week of, uh, of practice. Uh, got to get that back down. And again, as we talked about over and over again, it's the type of penalties being disciplined penalties and the timing of the penalties being in crucial situations. Uh, Cardinals... Uh, really won this game despite a lot of those penalties and a lot of mistakes. Well, and that's the key to a good team. If you can overcome those mistakes and, and avoid, you know, certainly going down like that, going down in terms of score, you you have that opportunity if you're playing strong defense to get that win, and that's exactly what they did. They didn't score. They scored 14 points. They didn't need to score anymore because they held their opponent to 12.
and a team that was averaging over 30 points a game coming into tonight. Will the streak continue? The Cardinals on the road to face the Spring Lake Park Panthers next Friday. Before then, we'll see volleyball on Tuesday as the Cardinals take on Centennial. And then on Tuesday, the third, a boys and girls soccer doubleheader as the Cardinals host the Maple Grove Crimson. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score from the complex, Coon Rapids 14, Irondale 12. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN. For the entire crew, including our stats guru, Harley Howie Shapiro, my sidekick, I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.